Ko tōku hia hia, ko te moi moi a, ki a kōrero ai te tauihi o te oh, te tauihi o te, uh, o te waka Māori, te reo Māori. Yeah, it's awesome. You have different groups that you can choose from to find what suits you best. One of the things that I have taken from this course is the importance not just of knowing kupu Māori but of actually practising it and there's a difference between how much you know but how much you actually do and practice in everyday life. I went to the first Kura Rail. It was a connecting experience, it was a learning experience, so I have very fond memories. Uh, so my te journey has been quite limited. Uh, I grew up in a household where te reo was, isn't spoken, and so for me it's about bringing it back for, for my future whānau, uh, for my, for my wee pipi. It improves your pronunciation, you feel able to ask people for ideas about how you might have more conversations. So I grew up in Blenheim, where there was very little te reo spoken back in um, the 1960s and 70s. I do remember some key people, such as the Nuku Nuku Fano, who helped us increase our reo, but we had very few reo speakers who were from this area, so we relied on speakers from the North Island to help us for the pai pai and to teach us. But I can see that that's changing now. Yeah, uh, yeah so I have five, uh, five tamariki, five rangatahi. Uh, they're all teenagers. You know, to be able to take home um, some learnings from Rangitane um, has been absolutely amazing. Kahare mai ai au ki wenei hui, hei whakapakari tōku reo i te mea te toritori noi ho ngā tāngata i te kāinga i te mahi hoki e mōhi ana ki te kōrero Māori. Nā reira, e tika ana me hara mai au ki wenei kia ako anō, kia whakapakari anō i tōku reo, kia hiki te wairua hoki. Nā te tanaunga tanga he mea nui. Kat i tu i tu tuki tira i tu taki o ngā fano no mutu e ka no te fano i orangi tane. My personal aspirations is to be fluent. My aspirations for Te Reo Māori is I'd like to see it in the schools. I'd like to see it. Hear it actually, just when I'm going about doing things in my everyday life, and I think that's possible if the next generation have the opportunity to be educated in Te Reo Māori, not just Pākehā.